If we got any matchup that can match up to what you just saw between Skimbo and Z-Thumbs, here it is. We'll kick it off at Pizza Hut Stadium. And Drini will get it first. He'll take it at his own 14-yard line, and he'll lay down shy of the 20. And there's the playbooks, the ever-popular Oakland offense is what he's going to be running out there. Yeah, very popular playbook. And you're going to see a lot of people that like to run the ball are going to be in that Raiders offense. It's probably the best ground and pound playbook in the game right now. Mills on the other side. He'll have that Raiders playbook. We'll see it a little bit later, but it's more importantly right now, he's going to be in that Jets defense. Yeah, and it's just interesting. Both of these guys in that Raiders offense, they both like to run the ball. I mean, it's a very popular playbook. Ten out of our 32 competitors are in that Oakland offense, so that's something a lot of these guys are familiar with. But nonetheless, it's still tough to stop. What a matchup we got here, folks, here in the AFC South. Of course, we've got two games going on at once. Certainly all eyes are on Jacksonville and the Texans. It's been a long time since we've seen Mills on the sticks. That was all the way back in November when the Texans hosted their club event. He beat Chewy and then beat Wesley by three. And there's Eric Dickerson, the man from SMU, will make his way to the 24. And that Eric Dickerson is going to be huge for Drini. He is 95 overall. That's the Mutt 100 item. And he has no abilities on him, but Drini thinks that running back so good he doesn't even need abilities. And he'll twist his way to the 29. It's going to be just shy. So here comes a third and one. And what you're seeing with Drini just running with Eric Dickerson, he knows he's going to fall forward. He knows that's a big body. And you just saw a good ex example of that. A run that didn't look like it was going to go for many yards goes for two or three because Dickerson's ability to just fall forward and use that strength. Drini, number five out of 32 and third down conversions. He gets it 52% of the time, and he does it right there. Yeah, this, this, these guys are just so similar. Not only are they running the same playbook, like I said, they're both top 10 in run defense, top 10 in run offense, top 10 in MCS games played. And get this, Scott, both of these guys are 5-0 and oh in the club championship this year to this point, and they both have a 99-point point differential. And How's John that for Ross being exact? has some space. And Palomalu, I don't think he's going to catch up. Touchdown! Oh, they're going to mark him right at the one. Oh, my. Gonna put him at the half-yard line. That is a big play for Drini, Scott. Mills was telling me, I need to slow down Dickerson. That's going to be the key to this game. And then Drini catches you off guard with a little John Ross action. Big play. And that's what you need if you're going to be running the ball on the ground. It's those big runs. John Ross getting it done. It's heavy here on first to goal, and he's going to hand it to Dickerson. He'll just carry a defender into the end zone. And Drini ends up striking first. And it's funny, talking to both of these players before this game, Scott, you would think the consensus in the community is Drini's the favorite coming into this. But talking with him, Mill said, I have Drini's number this year. I'm 3-0 and against him in big games. And speaking of Drini, he said, yes, absolutely. Mills is going to be my toughest game of this tournament. It's a bad matchup for me. And if I can get by him, I am going to make a run in this tournament. Look at it once again. John Ross, 72 overall, gets to the edge. And Troy P is going to be hunting him down. Yeah, speaking of making a run in this tournament, there's John Ross making that big run in this game. And now Mills has to respond early on because Drini puts together a great drive to open up the ball game. I'm sure that takes a lot of pressure off of Drini because he was worried about Mills' defense coming into this. He's going to get to loosen up a little bit after that. It was five plays, 80 yards, taking up two minutes off the clock. And now Mills... We'll take that 90 overall offense out on the field. He split up his salary cap, 48% on the offense, 49% on the defense, with a chunk of it coming in the backfield. He's got Jim Brown at 69 cap, and then you've already seen the Chris Johnson. He'll cost you 52 cap there at that 92 overall. So second and 10 here for Mills. Brady drops back looking. Chris Johnson can't get away, maybe got a yard. Huge third down already. 
Yeah, this is an interesting situation for Mills. He wants to run the ball. He wants to get it into the hands of Jim Brown. But at third and nine, you got to think about passing here with Tommy Ball game. But this plays right into Drini's hand. He, Drini has the number three rush defense and the number three pass defense. So he's stingy. Brady. And Johnson's looking for the marker. He's going to be shy. And here comes the decision time. Fourth and two. Mills going to go for this. He says he's willing to punt, but in these short yardage situations, he needs to go. Main reason being he spent so much cap on his offensive line, he expects him to get push here. He might pass, though. Yeah, 134 cap on just that O-line. And he'll go to the air. Looking. Yeah. And once again, it's deja vu. Three times in a row, the same route. And it leads to a first down. That'll move the chains at the 43. He had that tight end wide open up the seam. And if you see what Mills is doing, he's going dirtbag. He's got Chris Johnson subbed in at that flank or tight end position. So you got to watch out for him. He's got two halfbacks. He's got the Jim Brown and Chris Johnson who does get to that tight end and can beat you up that seam if you sleep and bring that safety down. You got to watch out for that. Both those guys with 93 speed. And he does have arm bar activated. There on Jim Brown. So second and 11 after the loss of one. Brady, tight window, and Torrey Holt can't hang on. I'm surprised how often Mills is going to the air right now against Drini. He said getting Jim Brown going was going to be key for himself, but it seems like he's committed to this passing attack with this, this Tommy Ball game on the center. Quick throw. Outside, it's Devin Hester. And he's wrestled down along the boundary there by Denzel Ward. Oh my goodness, here we go, Scott. Momentum play right here for Drini Joker. If he can get the stop in Mills' territory, he'll be right there to make a two-possession game. If, Mill, if you're Mills, you got to respond. You're already down. He could take this to the end of the quarter if he doesn't like what he sees. He'll motion out Hester. Brady steps, throws, diving grab at the 43. It's a first down, back-to-back, -back fourth down conversions. As the first quarter comes to an end, Drini with a 7-0 lead, but Mills on the drive. Mills very fortunate for that dive and catch animation right there, Scott. Had he not dove for that ball, that defender likely interacts with the receiver at the point of contact and could have knocked it loose. That was a very fortunate animation for Mills, but knowing him, he knew he was going to get it. Brady. There it is. Gets it off to Jim Brown. All kind of room. He'll spin to the inside. And Jim Brown no, works man. his way all the way down to the two. And now you dog. see Mills. I think this is the me. Like, I won't throw that pick skin, dog. You hear him talking, Scott? This is a guy he said coming into this Brother game, Simple, I baby. expect the admin to hit me with the B easy. Because if I get going, they're going to hear about it. And it looks like he's getting going now. He's trying to tie things up here on his opening drive after. Surrendering a long run to Drini on the opening possession of the ball game. Trailing by a touchdown, but his first and goal from the two-yard line. Jim Brown gets a block, gets outside, but he stumbles. And that's going to push him back seven yards. It's a huge tackle right there for Drini. That's and Pat I Tillman coming up on the stop. And just, I want to go back to the play before this that got Mills into the red zone. You saw him dump it to that flat, Scott, and it led that running back upfield. That was that pass lead ability that we were talking about when we went over their abilities at the top of this game. That was a great example of it coming into effect right there and giving them that extra lead up the field. Yeah, most of the players don't believe in it, but if you got an extra five cap, why not? And here's the thing. It had some problems when the game first launched, but since then there's been many updates and patches that have made that ability much more usable than it was when the game first came out. You would know that's the voice of RG, part of the development team here on Madden NFL 20. And it's going to bring up a huge third and goal from the five. Boy, that first down play just trying to get to the outside maybe cost him a touchdown. This is a tough spot to be in right here. If you're Mill Scott, part of you just wants to give it to Jim Brown and let him do his thing, but then you know against you're going up against Drini Joker, the two-time belt winner, perennial top player. This is a tough decision to make. What do you got, Mills? Third down. 
He'll hand it off outside, and Troy Palomalu says, no, sir. Whew. You got to take your points, right, RG? Oh, for sure. Especially with Drini. He doesn't have the most explosive offense, so you got to assume that you'll be able to slow him down after you kick this three. This is going to be end up being a six-minute drive. And he's only going to get a field goal out of it. Cannot take it to the two-minute warning. He's going to have an accurate kick right there. This should be good. It'll split the uprights. So both our competitors with points on their opening drive, but Drini's got to be happy holding them to three. Yep, if you're Drini, you'll take it. Being up 7-3, especially saying how you struggled against Mills all season long. But this drive right here, this is going to dictate a lot right here, Scott. It's anybody can go down and get one touchdown drive, especially when you're as good as Drini, but can you keep it rolling? And DeMarco will take a hit. Remember, Mills gets the ball to start the second half. You do not want to let him get that ball with a chance to take the lead. If you're Drini, you want points here, so Mills needs to continue to play catch up in the second half. Two belts for Drini, one in Madden 18, one in Madden 19. He won those two games by a combined 81 to 19. He is dominant if he can get to the finals. Oh, this Dickerson to the outside. Oh. Close to the marker, and he's going to say he's just short. Going to be second in inches. Clock on the move. Rivers hands it off again. Dickerson. Oh, so bad, bro. Man, tough run stick there. Could have bounced it outside. This is just classic Drini. You're in Oakland. You expect him to run out of these heavy formations. He's in this gun-tight slots, just going inside zone and gashing Mills. This was not what Mills was expecting from Drini in this run game, but it's what makes Drini so great. He's able to go to a variety of different formations and have success, and we're seeing it right now in this gun-tight slots. Troy Palomalu with his second tackle of the game as Drini's already gone over 100 yards. It's the jet sweep to Hester. He's had success with this already. You got to watch out for the touch pass. And Devin will get the touch. Tries to put it back inside. I don't think that's enough. Here comes third down. Uh-oh. That is valuable time coming off the clock. This is where we've seen Mills have success in these situations. He's known to get clutch. And nope. Dickerson will just pinball his way to the 50. And Drini will use a final timeout. I don't know if you saw it, but he used a timeout before the kickoff. And now that's come back to bite him. Here with 50 seconds to go, he cannot stop the clock the rest of the way. Yeah, with none of those TOs left, that's just going to make getting these points that much more difficult. But 50 seconds is enough time for him to get down here, get in field goal range, get himself three if he's lucky, a touchdown. And yeah, Marvin it's Harrison, three, baby. ain't nothing there. Look and here's another no huddle. Look at that focus on the right, Scott. Look at these two players. They know this is a big 30 seconds here at the end of the oh, half. Ooh. Lawrence Taylor coming in, getting his hands up. And that's just not any Lawrence Taylor. That's the 95 overall. Matt at 100 LT. Mills says, I'm bringing the biggest pass rushing goon to the party. He's going to make plays. He gets rewarded for it right there with that Lawrence Taylor. Not many people are willing to spend the cap for that animal. Mills is. That'll cost you 53 cap on a pass rusher. That's a ton. Third and seven, 28 seconds to go. Drini looking for his 60th win in the MCS era. Not bad for just your third year of competition. That's, that's ridiculous. He, he's just been on the scene and been oh, nothing but... Oh, no! No! Lawrence Lord, Taylor baby. with a scoop! Oh, the and the greatest hey, defender of all time the soccer, takes it in for a score. Has got the lead. We so patient, dog. We so patient, dog. Like I'm built for this, dog. We don't do no tripping, dog. We do no tripping. This game is so easy. It's so easy. At some point, you gotta pass, dog. What a change like, of events. He's he so scared of me, man. Wow. Take a look at it here in a moment. It's a scoop and a score, G. Yep, and here it is. Lawrence Taylor at the party, picks it up. He spent all that cap on him to make plays. He makes one of the biggest ones of the tournament so far. And you heard Mills' reaction. He said, they so scared of me, dog. And that's what he had been telling me leading up to this tournament. No one wants to play me. No one wants my aggressive defense. And we got a little taste why right there as Bandana Mills is turning up. 
Well, Snickers fumbled action. Leads to the touchdown, and Phillip Rivers has to throw it away. And we will head to halftime. 10 to 7. And Drini, all he can do is shake his head when he was in control. Out of timeouts, but the fumble. Lawrence Taylor takes it in and Mills, the man from Dallas, Texas, RG, has got the lead here at the half. And I, I just, I'm blown away because the game is going exactly how Mills said it was going to go. He said, gee, I'm going to stick with it. I'm not going to get down. I don't get discouraged. And I'm going to make him pass at some point. And that, like he said right there, you're going to have to pass as he blew him up the one time he did. Got the touchdown off, off of it. Well, let's go from one belt winner to another. Kratobin, little man on the other side. Nick and Tyler, what do you got? Oh, uh, what a fun game we've been watching between Kratobin and Little Man. Two extended drives. It was Chris Johnson doing work for Kratobin. Yeah, big run right there. Little man started 3 nothing. Kratobin answered back 7-3. Then Little Man came up clutch right here, right before the half, on the on big fourth and one. And then he hits this dig route, gets down, clock's ticking. I thought he was gonna spike, but he didn't. You talk about big plays before the half. We saw it in Drini and Mills. We saw it there. Yeah, it was a super touchdown. Clutch touchdown back of the end zone to go up 10 7. Little man looks great right now. Second half, anything you're looking for? Uh, red zone has been the key for these guys. I want to see who can score in the red zone second half. Well, don't forget, guys, this game has been great, and you're going to be able to watch it in its entirety on demand on the Madden Competitive Gaming YouTube channel. We'll be with, back with highlights at the end of the game for the second half of Drini and Mills. Let's throw it back to Scott and RG. Appreciate it, gentlemen. All powder blue unis there for Kratobin looking good. As we shift our focus back here to Drini and Mills. Talked about Drini. You know about the resume, but Mills certainly has the momentum here in Madden 20. Oh, for sure. That touchdown. You go from being Drini trying to get points before the end of the first half to letting Mills get a touchdown at the end of that first half and get the ball back to start in the second half. All the momentum is in Mills' favor right now, but guess what? If there's a player that can get through that adversity, it's Drini. Well, start half number two. Just a three-point game. And this drive right now feels absolutely monumental. And look for Mills on this drive, Scott, to really control the clock. This is a guy, when speaking to him, he takes a lot of pride in his clock management. He feels a lot of these younger guys don't know how to manage the clock the way he does. And he said, watch out, G. If I get up on these guys, I'll take a whole quarter or two away, away from them. So let's see if he can stay true to his word and do that here. Start the second half. Either of these guys could be in the final of the AFC. They just happen to be in the same division in the AFC South. Ooh as Jim Brown nearly got out of there, but it's only a gain of two. Yeah, I agree with you, Scott. you got to feel like whatever guy can get past this round of the tournament is primed to make a run in this tournament. Tons of experience, tons of skills, tons of credentials between these two players. One of them's going to advance, one of them's going to have to go home. So on second and eight, he'll just get a few. And RG, the reason these guys are matched up is because the Texans in their NFL are on the top of the standings and the Jags are at the bottom. And that's why you see these two guys matching up. Yeah, and I, I don't be I believe this was just decided recently had the Titans had won their game against the Texans, we would have had different matchups. So these guys just kind of found out that they were for sure getting matched up with each other. And made the you preparation that much more difficult, they said, coming that. into I this. You gonna, you gonna him. Of course, don't forget about the Falcons taking down the ball. Niners. That oh. certainly messed up what was going on. Mm -hmm. yeah, I saw a user coming out of my flight, and I said, who are you playing now? Do you even know? He's like, yeah, I think I'm playing Nick Hacko because of the Falcons uh, messing things up. On the, not only on the NFC South, but over out on the NFC West as well. So, and of course, we'll see. The entire NFC, they'll grab the sticks tomorrow. We still got a long way to go, and certainly all these games have lived up to the billing thus far. Second and 11 here at the 45. Already nearly two minutes gone by. And I'm interested right now because Mills says he wanted to control the clock if he got up, but here he is passing the ball. Jim Brown couldn't spin away. 
He snapped the ball that last play with about 15 seconds left on the play clock. So you got to wonder, Mill saying a key to my game plan was to use, you know, my surgical clock management. But right now I'm just not seeing it. It's only the 86 Tom Brady. But he does have 88 accuracy there on the short throws. It's time he goes for more of a medium. And Devin Hester. It was right in his mitts and can't hold oh, on. Oh, don't do me like that. <laughs> oh, what a reaction from Mills. And he says, don't do me like that. Nobody did you like that. It was Drini clicking onto the defender, moving him into position to force that knockout. Okay, that was a lead click on right there from Drini Joker. But that's what we've come to consistently see from him. Look at those fingers. Drini makes the most offensive pre-play adjustments out of all of our 32 competitors. Oh my goodness. I can't give him Nearly no seven pre-play adjustments before the snap on the this. defensive side of the ball. Fourth and eight. Mills is going to take the delay of game here. He doesn't want to w miss, no risk using one of those three timeouts. They're so valuable. Certainly Mills has proved he's not afraid to punt it away and let his defense do the work. Even though he didn't spend a lot on that defensive side. They're only 82 overall. But Troy P. and Pat Tillman being the two anchors to sort of bend and don't break. Yeah, he, he's willing to punt in this situation. As a matter of fact, he said, Gee, I want you to call me Mr. Fundamental. Because if it's fourth and three, I'm punting the rock. And here he goes. He stayed true to his word right here. And here's Mr. Fundamental himself getting the boot out. Punt it away, and it won't be returned, and they'll mark it out of bounds at the 16-yard line with 2.22 to go. So he does chew up a bunch of clock here at the start of the third, but Drini gets it back. How is he going to respond after that scoop and score, RG? Oh, if you're Drini, you got the momentum back that you needed. You gave up that terrible defensive touchdown before the end of the second half, but here you are, only down three with the ball. You can't ask for much more right now if you're Drini. Dickerson gets corralled at the 18. You're going to run out straight, you're going to run straight up the middle, every play. And there we go. Yeah. Mills in his 3-4 bear, and he's telling him, you're going to have to run up the middle because he's got those goons on the edge with that full Lawrence Taylor. Shaziri puts him at outside linebacker. He's weak in the middle, but then you got that Tillman with tackle supreme and stuff, and they're able to make the go. plays. Right, Smooth down, by baby. Dickerson. That's going to bring Come up on. a third and manageable. Make it four from the 23-yard line. Right Mills looking for his 37th win. And just his fourth major appearance. Yeah, Drini, he's just loved the inside zone in this situation right up the middle. You got to wonder, does he go to it or does he go to the wheel routes? Big third down. Hands it off to Eric Dickerson. He'll pick up the first down a little bit more. And that'll move the chain. 12 carries, 63 yards, and a touchdown for Eric Dickerson. Yeah, I'll tell you what, right ne next time I'm in this you Oakland playbook and I'm in that gun-tight slot formation, I'll, I'm going to run me some inside zone because Trini having some good success with that so far. I'm doing a little research on Eric Dickerson. I, I had forgotten that he finished his career with the Falcons. I always picture him in that Rams or even that Colts uniform. Yeah. And here we go in the final minute of the third. I mean, this 22 personnel. He's got Shazir at fullback. Sitting right there. Come on, baby. Oh, he's going to have baby. to call a timeout. Come on, wow, man. Wow, that's yeah, huge, man. Scott. Right, audible stuff, man. Come on, baby. It's big boy football out here, man. Come on, man. It's big the Mills boy is going to let him have it. Oh, no. Drini tried to go to that stretch alert X looky. RPO on, play, man. but just not enough hey. time on the play clock. Had to use one of those precious timeouts in the second half. That could be a factor later on. Football. Come on, man. Troy Palomalu coming over in the secure the tackle. Way. Spent 64 cap on him if you throw that ability. God, Bills, man. He's got the chain on. Nice Texans hat. He, he always comes in the in the proper Madden attire. Whether he's bandanaed up, chained up. Big boy football, man. I know. Whoa. I thought we were going to see the battle of the bandana between these two guys. And neither of them got it. Yeah, there, there was rumors of a, of a of loser leaves town match. Loser never rocks the bandana again, but 
guess that was a little too much on the line as if the stakes aren't high enough right now. And you got to watch out for this stretch alert X looky right here. That's that RPO play with a backside slant or a stretch. And Obi's going to go to the dive. Here's the start of the fourth quarter. Eric Dickerson, former Pony Express member from SMU, and they won't catch him. And look at the savagery of Drini. He doesn't even celebrate, doesn't get excited, kind of just ponders to himself and says, all right, job's not finished. Now I got to get it done on defense. But what a way to respond if you're Drini Joker to the adversity Mills has thrown at you. And we got ourselves a good one, Scott. We knew these guys were evenly matched coming into it, and we're seeing why, because this is just a back and forth, good old fashioned John Madden football battle. Six plays, 84 yards. And that was an important extra point. Because that makes it a four point game with 4.49 to go here in the club championship presented by Snickers. And this is right up the gut. Yeah, and you thought it was going to be the stretch. Drini audibles to the dive at the last second. Usually Mills' user defender needs to be the one to fill that gap, like make that. the play. Nowhere to be found. Easy pickings right there for Eric Dickerson. And Drini spent a lot of cap like on him, that. and he said he's going to need to be big for me if I make a run in this tournament. Right there, he was pretty big for Drini. Interesting stat on Mills in this entire tournament. Oh, now I'm talking from start to finish, back when he was playing inside the house. Zero times has he been in the shotgun. Zero. <laughs> you think that's a guy that's committed to his offense? I mean, we've seen him in this single back wing flex all the way back when he was making a run to the Final Four of the Madden Classic. This is his offense, this is what he's comfortable in, and this is what he's been sticking to. Let's see if it can get him to this next round of the club championship. He's to get past the 40-yard line. Brady. Not known for his wheels, will throw it up! Oh! And neither player can get the animation oh, they want, and here comes fourth down. Oh, Mills got himself in a situation. He was looking for Chris Johnson up the seam. He said as soon as they bring their safeties down, that's where I'm attacking. No go. Now it's a huge fourth down. Scott, biggest play of the game thus far. He's had two fourth down conversions already. But that came all the way back in the first half. Man. Brady, seven-step drop, swings it to the well, outside, oh, and Devin Hester man. with a huge possession catch in plus territory uh -oh. to the 42-yard oh, line. And I love the stick work right the there from Mills. Friend, he throws baby. the corner Ooh, route, clicks onto the receiver, wait, takes control wait, of him, a little boy. swiggle waggle, waits till the last second to press that A button so he doesn't get pulled into a multiplayer interaction. And that's just good stick work and good poise right there from Jordan Thompson, a.k.a. Mills from Dallas, Texas. Has yet to score an offensive touchdown in the ball game. It was a scoop and a score if you're just joining us by Lawrence Taylor to close out the half. But he needs a touchdown now. Look at Brady quiet in the crowd. And Jim Brown maybe got a yard. And for Mills... Being down four instead of three, that's big. Uh, you don't feel too good about a field goal this late in the fourth quarter. You want this to be a touchdown drive. Drini made it to the round of 16 last year before losing the goes 34-27. And I want to say a special thought to Goh's dad and sister going through a kidney transplant today. Goh's sister is giving their dad her kidney so our thoughts with them certainly in the Madden community as we bring up a second and nine coming up on two minutes to go Brady quick throw and that's a big hit and you saw that that's a user hit stick there's nothing CPU about this this is all Drini clicking onto the fender making that hit stick at the point of contact and we've seen him now make several big plays because of his click on on defense that's that 89 Jerome Baker who's starting to make his way on several of the rosters that you're going to see over the next four days. Yeah, that blitz item about 88. Oh, 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 oh. A huge turnover. Mills is already ah, saying GG, but we got 2.11 to go. As once again, Mills turning it over in a key situation. It's an awkward route combination, Scott. He's got two of his running back and his receiver running to the same spot, and they bumped into each other. 
and knocked one of them out of the way. The pass ends up going right to Drini's defender. That was insane. So first and 10, and That's Dickerson oh. nearly was going to the house. Here comes the two-minute warning. Have these games been bonkers or what so far? Well, this is what the club championship is all about. 32 of the best players in the world, $700,000 in prizes on the line. Would you expect anything else? And Dickerson. You know, at one point, Drini had made every major he made seven in a row only other two guys to do that are the two guys you're listening to right now no other player has done it is what i'm <laughs> trying to say rg yeah. first and ten all right it's either a stretch or a dive he goes to the stretch it's a big user tackle right there from mills this is the nitty gritty scott and i'm not talking about hq someone's gonna have to step up and make a play right here if you're Mills, you got to make a stop to give yourself life. If you're Drini, you can put him away. And Dickerson to the house, and he might lay down. Again. Drini using all the clock. And we have just went back to 1989. We just techno-bowled our way to the 30-yard line. And that should do it. As we're getting word that Little Man and Kratobin are also in a hell game, but Drini, some how escapes with a four-point lead.